Hello, this video contains instructions on how to connect accounts to Sprinkler. First thing you'll want to do is log into the accounts that you'll be connecting in a separate tab. For Facebook and LinkedIn, you'll want to be logged into an account that has admin rights to the page that you're connecting. From there, you'll come back to Sprinkler, you'll click this new page icon, you'll go down to the second menu section, and where it says connect your modern channels, you should see social accounts. If you don't see this, it means you don't have the correct sprinkler permissions to connect accounts and you need to reach out to University Communications to have those permissions added. Click social accounts. From here, you'll click add account and then you'll choose your account type. The next steps will vary a little bit depending on what type of account, but a few things to note. For Facebook, you'll be adding Facebook pages. You can add Facebook groups, but there is a little bit of an API issue where it will look like all posts are coming from the individual name um, who is connecting to Sprinkler. So if Joe Smith is the page admin that's adding the group, all the posts will look like they come from Joe Smith. It's not ideal, so most people aren't connecting their Facebook groups or they connect it for analytics and reporting reasons, but they're actually managing groups from the Facebook native platform. With LinkedIn, you'll most likely be using company as a page instead of a LinkedIn page here, which is actually a profile. We do have some users that are connecting dean and administrator profiles, but by and large, you'll probably want company. So from here, um, once you choose your account type, you'll get some pop-ups where you have to add permissions, approval based on the platform. It might take you out to that native platform, which is why you need to be signed in um, to approve some settings. But you'll follow the prompts and it'll eventually pull you back to an account settings. Facebook is the most complicated one, so I will use that as my demo here. I'm gonna choose Facebook page. Here it's saying that you have to be an admin, editor, moderator, etc. I'm gonna say yes, proceed. Then it gives me a pop-up. It says Sprinkler's requesting to, you can click choose to allow, but it's gonna default to exactly what you need. So just go ahead and click continue. And then from here, page will load and it will give you a list of the pages that you have admin access to that you can add. If it's already in the workspace, it will say as such. If it's not, it'll let you add. I'm not going to add any of these others because I don't want to cause issues by having test pages in the system, but you can see here we've got the official university page. That's the one I'll use for a demo. So after you check these options, you would hit add, and then from there it will give you the page settings. Once you hit the add button, it will show you the edit settings option for your account details. Here's where you are able to make adjustments that control where the account will show up. There's a group section that shows what groups this account is contained in. There's permissions with permission type, and then the user groups that have that permission, and there's subscribers. Subscribers is going to dictate which individuals get notified if there's an account connection with between the platform and Sprinkler. So it's very important that you list your user groups here. You'll receive an information sheet of which user groups to map and which permissions to grant and which account groups to add when you are onboarded into Sprinkler. Follow that spreadsheet to set these settings and then you'll hit save at the bottom. You can edit the settings for any account by finding it in your account list or by typing it in the box to help filter from the longer list. Go to the three dot icon along the side, click edit to open that edit panel again. If you wish to disconnect an account from the system, hover, click deactivate. The same ad account, ad account process will work for other platforms as well. Follow the prompts, 
change your settings for user and account groups and subscription preferences, and hit save.